when, when, it co when it comes to express, the way I think about brand actually is a level of expectation of a whole lot of things. What can you expect from express? And I think when your expectations are pretty clear, you have a pretty clear brand. If in fact the product is right, and in fact it has a great label in it, there is an abstract value added to that product. And that's where the importance of the brand building comes in because there is a profitability that you can have with a good brand that you can't have without it. A good brand really defines the sort of the bookends of the time element. You know, you can have a great customer, and, and this sounds pretty morbid, but it's true. If you keep following your customer, if you keep following that customer, you're going to wind up in the shroud business. So you got to call a halt, and you got to say, we loved you so much. Kiss her goodbye, you know. She's on to the next brand. She's on to the next fashion attitude. You can't follow your customer. And I've seen a lot of brands try to do that, and every one of them has failed. Experimentation is super important. Testing is super important. We really, really, really have uh, a very, very uh, scientific approach to testing as far as clothing could be scientific. We talk about limiting variables in tests. When we, when we want to test a brand new fabric, you can be assured we will test it in a known silhouette. Sure. We will test it in the best possible color and we will test it in a fit that we know the customer wants. So there can only be one variable. Either they like that fabric or they don't. We can't say, yeah, but. You know, the minute you're saying, yeah, but, you're, you're not being scientific enough and you're not giving yourself the time to really do what you gotta do. But, but today it's about connecting the dots, very, very much so, and I use this analogy all the time. You know, you see a little kid playing that follow the dots game, you know, and number one is hell to find. They've got to look all over the board for number one. And number two is not that easy either. And number three is, I mean, they, all of a sudden a pattern emerges and as soon as the pattern emerges, they don't even look for the number, they know where the next dot is. This is the same thing, this business. So it's a business of pattern recognition, which is not an art, not an art. So you gotta recognize the pattern, and if you recognize the pattern, you can make a pretty good bet on where the next stop will be. The web has been terrific. We were late, very late to that game. But what I would tell you is coming late to that game, my level of expectation was not at all what happened. I expected people to get, I, we had a lot of customers, I expected people to buy another color of some terrific basic that they had purchased before. But what happened basically is the highest volume items are fashion items, not basic items. Which I never ever would have forecast, ever. The kind of stuff that we're selling, which is you know, fashion goods, this, the tactile element does not even come into it on the web, yet we do great with that. So what I'm learning is, what I'm learning more than anything is what I don't know. I think a lot of the things that people cared about in the past, new and modern customers don't even think about, really don't even think about. They have a level of expectation and they have a certain look that they want to associate with, but they're still very experimental. And I think that experimental nature uh, both enables us and empowers us to present news. I think, I like to think of our women customers as, as uh, young women who 10 years from now 10 years from now, will have a lot of personal style. They really will because they get it, but they're still playing with that, you know? They will have a lot of personal style, but today what they have is fashion and fashion sense. I, I think that when, when, 
when I think about our, our, especially our girl, as opposed to our guy, because I think it's a bit different, you know, she knows what she wants to wear. She can't afford it yet, you know? She goes to some of these stores, you know, some of these top brand stores, the way you might, or the way I might go to a museum. And then she comes to us to try to duplicate that attitude, that look, and we can't, we can't disappoint.